Welcome back to Crypto NWO, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Crypto NWO, and in today's video, I am going to be downloading a bunch of dangerous computer viruses while playing a bunch of popular video games. This is the second time I've made a video like this. In part one, I downloaded dangerous computer viruses while playing Fortnite, Roblox, and Minecraft. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna go ahead and link it on the top right of the screen and in the description. The four games I'm going to be playing in this video are Grand Theft Auto V, Valorant, Roblox, and Among Us. I just wanted to clarify that I'm doing the ultimate cardinal sin of a gamer right now. I'm using a MacBook computer a Windows Virtual Machine. A Razer keyboard and a Razer mouse connect to the MacBook that's running a Windows Virtual Machine. Like I said, this is the ultimate cardinal sin of gaming. This is the USB that I'm gonna be using in this video that is filled with a lot of dangerous computer viruses. So on your left, I have a bunch of viruses and on your right, I have a bunch of video games. So the first virus that we're gonna be using is the Bromine virus or Bromine. And the first game we're going to be playing is Among Us. All right, so I have Among Us open and and I'm gonna go ahead and run the game and I'm gonna download the bromine virus so I can run the bromine virus and see what happens while I'm playing Among Us. So I wanted to just clarify and show you that this keyboard is the keyboard that's gonna make my character move. So if I go down, left, up, it's the WASD key, so. Oh, I'm a crewmate. Okay, there is one imposter Among Us and I just have to do my tasks. Navigation, fix wiring and navigation. Perfect, I have to inspect the sample at medbay. Okay, so I'm gonna run the virus now. Bromine, begin. Windows protected your PC. Bromine, run anyway. Is it gonna, is it gonna work? Do you wanna allow the sample from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 I play the game. This is what my computer looks like right now. Oh no. No. Ah! How do I close all these? Oh, this is bad. You can't even see anything. So with the bromine virus, once you run the virus, you're actually gonna have zero control over what happens in the game, over what happens on your computer. Because I was playing the game, everything was happening like perfectly fine. And once I ran the virus and executed the virus, I have no control over the game. Oh my God, just the sound. Oh, that's sick. Heard this before in the virus videos. If you haven't seen the virus video playlist, go ahead and click on the top right of the screen. It's gonna take you to my computer virus video series. My Mac mouse is working, but the Windows mouse is completely destroyed. Oh my God. Uh -oh. And there you go, destroy the boot sector of the computer. Parallels ARM virtual machine, Apple Silicon 10.3.0. When it attacks the boot sector of your computer, it's basically attacking the part of your computer that once your computer is powered on and it tells your computer that it's a computer in the first place, that just died in front of me right now. So I show it in my finder and I send it to the shadow realm and now the computer is gone forever. Among Us versus the Bromine virus. Bromine was clearly the winner. The game was completely unplayable once the virus was executed. All right, now that was pretty cool. The next computer virus that we're gonna download and then next game we're gonna play are a Pancosa virus and we're gonna be playing Roblox. The Pancosa virus that we're gonna be using is called Pancosa Destructive 2.0. All right, let's go ahead and open up Roblox. The game we're gonna be playing on Roblox is The Intruder. If you wanna see me play a different game on Roblox in a future video, then let me know which game in the comment section, but make sure the game is scary. The Intruder. This is an official report from the police department. We have received reports that a criminal is in your local area, unfortunately. Okay, let's run the virus. Pancosa destructive too? Yes. If you are a victim of an Death. Incident. One, hide and oh, it's working. The house. Wait for the intruder to leave the home. Three, if the intruder sees you, then... I hope you are now prepared for when you are in an intruder incident. Read the manual on the bed to learn how to survive. Okay, I already know how to do that, but the, the virus is absolutely destroying the computer. So I'm playing Roblox right now while Pancosa Destructive is running in the background. There's no sounds from the virus. Oh, I'm with my boys. Get your foot in! Close the door. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Anxiety's at 40%, 44%. Did it grab me? He grabbed me. 
The intruder has found house, Sway. That's right. That's right. I have Robux, baby. Revive. Bro's just chilling in here while the virus. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, bro? Can I revive again? I'm reviving again. You know who you're messing with, buddy? You know who you're messing with, buddy? The virus is absolutely obliterating the computer. I wonder how long I could play Roblox for. I don't get it. So he's just chilling in the room. You have to just sit in the closet and wait? Revive. The intruder has found me. Again? I just wasted 30 Robux for what reason? So right now you can see that the virus is actually doing some damage. I have a video coming up where I'm going to be downloading the dangerous computer viruses and I'm going to be putting them up against these antiviruses you see on the screen. Kaspersky, Norton, Bitdefender, and Windows Defender. This is the virus running when I'm not in the game. You can see it's absolutely obliterating the computer. I'll show you guys with this camera to show you this is not a joke. And then when I open up Roblox, it seems like just the bottom of the screen and the top of the screen are absolutely obliterated. Like what do you do when your computer ends up like this? You're trying to play video games the good news is the video games are still gonna work the bad news is once you turn off the computer it's gonna destroy the boot sector of the computer i can't even hear the game anymore the game is completely silent what the hell happened roblox just closed on me it's not even there at the bottom anymore oh my goodness when it comes to roblox versus pancosa destructive 2.0 it was a tie game until the judges came to a unanimous decision pancosa's virus beat Roblox, the intruder. I'm gonna have to give that point up to Pancosa Destructive 2.0, even though Roblox did hold its own. You can still fully play the game, but once you die a couple of times and you start a new game, the audio is completely gone, which renders the game completely unplayable. That's why Pancosa Destructive 2.0 takes this W. This is what it looks like right now on my computer. This looks like a freaking Van Gogh painting. Oh my God. So I'm gonna click in the start menu. I'm gonna click restart the computer, and we're gonna see if the computer is actually going to restart. Closing one app and, in okay, okay. And of course, it destroyed the boot sector of the computer. Oh my god. Now, while playing Roblox Intruder and downloading the Pancosa Destructive 2.0, the winner of that battle was Pancosa Destructive 2.0. I'm gonna show it in my finder and then send that virtual machine to the Shadow Realm. And now the computer is gone forever. All right, now that was pretty crazy. The next computer virus that we're gonna be downloading and the next game we're gonna be playing are the Deadfish virus. And we're gonna be playing Valorant or Valorant. I don't know how to pronounce it. Valorant's anti cheat system isn't compatible with virtual machines so we're going to be loading it onto an actual pc higher stakes bigger payoffs a perfect setting for our virus experiment let's dive in so just clarifying it again this is the hard drive that i got from amazon plugged it into the computer i installed windows with this thumb drive over here and this is the usb that i'm going to plug into this computer and it has the dead fish virus because now we are going to run valorant versus the dead fish virus so if you take a look at huggy wuggy's right eye you can see that valorant is there i'm going to connect to a VPN. All right, so I have Valorant open. OBS is recording on my Alienware computer. So I'm gonna wait for the gameplay to start. And then once the gameplay starts, like once I'm with my team, I'm gonna actually put in the USB so I can install the Deadfish virus so I can see what happens when Valorant faces the Deadfish virus. Let me know in the comment section before the virus starts, which one do you think is gonna win? Match found. Hey, match found. I'm gonna take the USB with the Deadfish virus and I'm gonna stick it into the computer right now. We have 12 seconds until the game starts. Choose what happens with this drive. View files, Deadfish virus. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown public to make changes to your device, deadfish.exe. It says run short malware, yes or no? Let's hit yes. Are you sure yes? And now I'm playing the game with the deadfish virus. Let's see. Oh, 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 whoa. Oh my God. Okay, so the gameplay is still working. You can see that my player is moving around, but my mouse is not really. Okay, so this is what I, clearly the virus is going to whip this game's butt, but you know what? We have hope. We have hope. This is just showing you guys. This is what my recording looks like. That's my. Oh, oh! Oh, oh my god! Shooting the guns. Oh. We lost that round. Enter the bye, please. <coughs> Okay, I can play the game. This is playable. This is playable. <laughs> this is somebody completing with 30 frames per second. Oh, 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 
your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some info and then we'll restart it for you. This is what my computer looks like right now. This is what my computer, look, the recording software halted. Oh my God. It says reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media. Okay. We're gonna insert the boot media and then it says press any key or press a key, press enter. Oh, that's not working. Okay, let's restart the computer. A solid USB partition one. Look at that, Windows 10. So I just lost every single file on my computer. I lost Valorant. I lost NordVPN. I have to reinstall Windows 10 from scratch to basically download Steam, download GTA 5, and download NordVPN again. Man, this is just getting crazier and crazier the more I do it. But the last computer virus that we're gonna be downloading and the last game we're gonna be playing is the MEMS virus versus Grand Theft Auto 5. Like Valorant, Grand Theft Auto 5 won't run on a VM. So we freshly reinstalled Windows on a real machine. High stakes continue and we're about to dive into the chaos of Grand Theft Auto 5 versus MEMS. 100 gigabytes. Now, everybody hates when video games download, but have you ever seen a game download like this? So I had to completely reinstall Windows from scratch. I had to download Steam again, and I had to download Grand Theft Auto 5, and also all the antiviruses that I'm gonna use in the next video. The video is gonna be called I Tested Malware Against Antiviruses. If you guys wanna see me even make that video, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to NordVPN. If you take a look at Jack Black's mouth, we have Grand Theft Auto 5. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Grand Theft Auto 5 and put it up against the infamous MEMS virus. So as you can see, I have Grand Grand Theft Auto 5 open. I don't need the mouse and I don't need the keyboard because I use my controller, but we're gonna go ahead and start Grand Theft Auto 5. So now it says take down the bikers. This is gonna be the part where I pause the game. I'm going to put in the USB that contains the MEMS virus. Stick it in. Attention required. Would you like to scan this USB drive for threats? Nope, I am not gonna scan it. So now you can see the MEMS virus is right here. Yeah, we're connected to the VPN right now, making sure of that. And now we're gonna hit MEMS, run as administrator. Yes, the software you just executed is considered malware. This malware will harm your computer and it will make it unusable. If you know what this malware does and you're using it in a safe environment to test, press yes to start it. Do you want to execute this malware resulting in an unusable machine? If you're watching this video, I want to clarify, don't try anything you see in this video at home. Whatever I'm doing in this video, I'm doing it so I can show you guys what would happen if I play video games and download dangerous computer viruses. I'm doing it all in a controlled environment right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. This is the last warning. The creator is not responsible for any damage damage made using this malware. Still execute it? Oh my god. Yes. It says your computer has been effed by the MEMS Trojan. Your computer won't boot up again, so use it as long as you can. Smiley face. Trying to kill MEMS will cause your system to be destroyed instantly, so don't try it. Smiley face again. Okay, let's open up GTA. Let's take out the bikers while the MEMS virus is running on the computer. Oh, oh no. Too bad about it. Oh. 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 He's going to kill me. How to create your own ransomware? Get wrecked. Console boot, what the hell? Okay, that's one guy. That's two. Oh, my, my computer is going crazy. You guys can see the flashing, right? Oh my God. What? Are you still using this computer? Yes, I'm still using this computer. Please leave me alone. What? How to remove a virus. What the hell? I'm still using the computer, yes. Oh my god, the MEMS virus is going crazy right now. No, no, no! no. The MEMS are real. Do I go in the car? Man, Trevor died. I actually just got my microphone to start recording. I am I messed up completely. But the MEMS virus is going crazy right now. Oh, this is so bad. Oh no, this is so bad. I can't even aim. Oh my God. Okay, so this is me trying to play GTA 5 with a computer virus. All these tabs are opening right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. The MEMS virus is going crazy right now. I wonder if I can get one kill, one kill. Oh no. Oh, I got a kill. Oh my God, this is not freaking good. Look at my computer, bro. Oh, oh, no, 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 move. Oh. There's literally nothing I can do. This is my computer right now. This feels like it's not real. Okay, so I'm gonna try running the game one more time. All right, Trevor, let's get it. So Grand Theft Auto 5. 
Oh my goodness. So I signed out of the account. I've actually never tried. Oh, 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 oh. Your device just ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart it for you. 41% complete, 61% complete. Oh, no, 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 no. This is my recording software. Stopped recording, halted the recording. Is it gonna work? Pro series. Your computer has been trashed by the Mems Trojan. Now enjoy the Nyon Cat. Oh no, I should have enabled Norton antivirus while the MEMS virus was running. If you guys want to see me do that, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be uploading a video really shortly called I Tested Malware Against Antiviruses. If the video is out, it popped up on the top right of the screen. If not, this is a video I hand selected. That's all for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the future. Love ya.